there's one disease that gives no respite. It's a major public health concern. Yeah, it's one of the most common cause of hospitalizations in the country. A lot of children are suffering. You really don't know if she or he will die from the disease. There's no cure, and until recently, no vaccine. The disease is spreading rapidly. For developing economies, it's a huge burden. And for the rich, the door is open. Now half of the world's population is at risk. I was convulsive with shivers and shakes, and I was cold, I was hot, I was wrapped up in blankets. Uh, it was actually quite frightening. A vaccine is urgently needed. Millions are living in fear. If you ask parents or even doctors, they will tell you it's one of the most feared disease it's dengue. 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 For decades, scientists across the world have been racing to find a vaccine for dengue fever. In the community where I live, lots of people ask me what I work on. I say, I work on a vaccine for dengue virus. And they're like, you know, what is dengue virus? They haven't heard of it. In the 70s, only nine countries in the world declared outbreaks, dengue outbreaks. Now, more than 120 countries declare dengue outbreaks to show you the spread of the disease over the world. The World Health Organization has set an aim to halve the number of dengue deaths by 2020. In the last 50 years, there's been a 30-fold increase in infections. A vaccine could help meet that goal. We are close to the end, and all the efforts at the end will make an impact, and we have all hope to make dengue a vaccine-preventer disease. Everybody in the dengue community is exciting about the dengue vaccine. We are entering a new era in which we will have a new hope. As a mother, as a clinician, as a doctor to children, and also as an individual residing in a dengue endemic country, I'm very happy. Yeah, very happy to be part of this journey. Available now on Video On Demand.